Happy Tuesday, friends! It's Kamochi time! Kamochis are our friends. Kamochis are our friends. They are here to play with us. Kamochis are our friends. They have feelings too. They have feelings too. Happy, sad, and angry, just like me and you. Fantastic job, friends. Okay, the last time we were together, Lovey Dove was teaching us how to be kind. And she taught us a katawaza, a Japanese word that kimochis use for kind. And the katawaza is take the time to be kind. And we were practicing some things that we could, or we were practicing using our eyes when we see something to be kind, or when we hear something, um, that's another opportunity to be kind. So when you see something or when you hear something, those are great opportunities to be kind. Well, today we're gonna talk about habits. We're gonna talk about positive habits. So that means things that we do all the time that are good. For example, washing our hands. That's a positive habit. How about if we get lots of rest every night? That's a positive habit. What about when we brush our teeth in the morning? And I hope you brush your teeth at night too. Those are positive habits. What about when we say please and thank you? That's a positive habit. Fantastic. So today, Lovey Dove wants to teach us something called say it. And the say it habit means that when you think something nice, so when you think it, you should say it if it's nice. <laughs> So when you think something nice, don't hold it in, say it. Tell the person what you're feeling. So we're gonna practice today and Lovey Dove is um, going to show us how to say it. If it's kind, say it. Can you repeat that with me? If it's kind, say it. Yeah, people don't hear enough good things. We tend to always hear not so good things sometimes. So let's spread some joy, sprinkle some kindness, and when you think of something nice, say it. Are you ready to practice? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. So we are going to use some of our Kamochi friends. Let's start with Cloud. Okay, are you ready? So Cloud is going to do something, and then we are going to practice the say it habit. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Wow, Cloud, that was an amazing flip you just did. Do you think you could teach me? So I thought something nice in my head, and I said it. And how do you think that made Cloud feel? Oh, she's pretty happy. <laughs> okay, how about Bug? Well, Bug has the nesting heart. We're gonna put this down for a minute. Okay, are you ready to say it? So I want you, we'll, I'll practice another time with you and then I'm gonna ask for your help for the next two. Okay, Bug, you ready? Go! Shh. Wow, Bug, you are doing an amazing job flying and I love how brave you are. Will you teach me how to fly? <laughs> well, I don't know if Bug can teach me, but I'm sure we made Bug feel so wonderful about being able to fly and being brave enough to fly because that's what he's always working on. Okay, how about... Okay, this time I'm gonna ask you for some help. 
Okay. Are you ready? All right, cat. What are, what are you going to do? Okay. It's what could you think that would be nice to say about cat? Cat was clapping her hands. Yeah. Cat, I loved your excitement and you were clapping your hands and you were excited for your classmate who got picked to be superstar or VIP next week. Yay. I always like to teach that in kindergarten because I know that when we're waiting to be the VIP of our class or the superstar, whatever your teacher calls it, um, it can be really hard when you're excited because you think they're gonna, your teacher's gonna call you and it's not you, but it's nice to be happy for your friend and know that you're gonna get a chance too. So Kat's been working on that, being happy for other people, even though it wasn't her turn yet. Okay, and let's practice with one last one. I know you all love hugs. Okay, hugs, are you ready? We are practicing the say it tool. So show us something and we will think of something nice to tell you. <laughs> Did you think of something nice in your head that you could say to hugs? Are you hearing that hugs? Hugs, you have some amazing dance moves and I would sure love it if you could teach us some also. Awesome, boys and girls. So I loved that you were able to practice alongside of me. When you see, when you see something kind and you think it, say it. Say it, say it, say it. Say it to your teacher. Say it to your mom, mm. say it to your dad, say it to your brother, say it to your grandpa, your grandma, your uncle, say it to whoever, because that is how we spread kindness and just put it out there. When we do that, it becomes a habit and that really encourages other people to do it too. It really does. It's, it's kind of, kindness is one thing that's contagious but in a good way. Germs are not good because they're contagious and then they get us sick. But kindness makes other people want to be kind and smile. And we need to put more of that out in the world, the boys and girls. And we're starting with you. So thank you to all of my friends who helped me today with Lovey Dove's habit that she is trying to teach us. And that is Say it. So today, boys and girls, go. When you think something nice, say it. Say it to someone, whoever that is, whoever you are with today. When you think something nice or when you think something kind, say it. Practice it and I have a new strategy or a new game for you tomorrow. All right, bye boys and girls.